welcome to another week the second week of the seven week meditations to welcome the age of the aquarius which is happening on the 21st of december 2020 this is the second week and for all of you who are joining me now i just want to tell you briefly if you haven't been uh, watching the previous meditation video then i'll just quickly run through what it means so the earth is moving into a higher frequency or the higher dimensional frequency of the 5d energies and along with the earth we too are gradually increasing our frequencies and moving along with her into this 5d reality but the earth is almost there humanity is not and as a collective we need to connect with earth to connect with the heart of Gaia and along with her increased frequencies we need to tune in tap in and send her that that means Gaia the earth our heart energies so that we in turn can increase our frequencies and move along with her into a 5d reality it sounds very complex but it's not and this shift has been felt for many many years now it's just now recently everything is getting a lot more tangible we can see the changes we can see a lot of shifts physically emotionally and spiritually happening all around the world and it's fantastic because this new age is going to be very very different it's going to be more of love and light than anything that you have ever experienced before um, another thing is to prepare for the main event which is happening on the 21st of December 2020. We will need to prepare not just our minds and hearts and souls but also our physical bodies. And for this there are a few simple things that you can do. One is to cleanse yourself, your physical self, with waters that are from the sea. That means you can go to the beach and have a nice dip and have fun while while you're doing it and you can have your physical body cleaned of anything that is negative and that is limiting you from expanding your heart energies or you could swim in a river if you if you're lucky to have a river or a waterfall close to your home but most of us don't have access to beaches or rivers or seas in that case what you could do is you can have um, a bath with an overhead tank most of people in india have overhead tanks that store water and you can you know use that overhead tank to uh, take a bath the other best way to do it is to use epsom salts in a in a bucket of water you can just dissolve some of uh, the epsom salts and then run the water from your head all the way down to your body this can also clear the energies that could be attached to your body and this can also give you a boost of fresh energy and make you feel more energized and you know pumped to go about your day especially on the 21st of December this needs to be done before you sit in meditation for the actual connection that we as a collective all around the world are going to take part in and connect with Gaia after you cleanse your physical body, the step two is to use either eucalyptus leaves like the ones that I have here. These are loose eucalyptus leaves that you can get off Amazon. All you need to do is to collect a bunch of these leaves, tie them up and then light them. Be careful when you are uh, using matchsticks or fire. Um, light these leaves up and then the smoke of the leaves you need to put it all around you around your body if you have someone who can help you do this that's amazing make sure that it's always done in a place where you know you're being very careful not to light anything else on fire um, and also use a fire safe bowl if you can because it can get really really hot the other simple way of doing it if you don't want to use the eucalyptus leaves then you can also use uh, eucalyptus essential oils that you get in small bottles like this these are also available on amazon and other uh, regular you know uh, flip card kind of um, platforms <laughs> um, so you can buy buy them off uh, these places and uh, you have these burners right where you generally use um, essential oils to um, you know 
make the room smell good you can use those burners with the eucalyptus oil in it and allow that oil to permeate through the room that you're in and just sit in meditation when the oil is burning so that the effects of the eucalyptus oil is felt not just on your physical body but on your mind and on your auric field as well it's a wonderful way of cleansing your energies not just your physical energies but also your energy fields that um, are around you so this is what you need to do when we sit in meditation for the final event which is on the 21st of December 2020. It's going to be massive because the Earth Gaia needs all of us to send her our energies acting as a bridge from the central sun which is the sun of the universe not our solar system sun but the central sun which is in the center of our universe she will be sending massive massive amounts of photonic light and this light needs to anchor into Gaia through us because we are we act as conduits for this energy and it goes directly into Gaia and uh, in turn Gaia would increase her frequencies her vibrations and in turn we get to increase our frequencies and our vibrations to such a level that we have easy access into a fifth dimensional reality in this fifth dimensional reality so many things can happen manifestations can happen immediately there is no doubt about it like the moment you think of something it manifests just like that in fact I have things happening to me all of the time these days and it's so miraculous to watch this magic unfold in front of me so if you are someone who's looking for something like that to create a better peaceful world to create a more loving world where everyone is just one big huge family and there's so much of love and peace then we need to make the shift happen and that is the reason I am asking people all around the world who are watching this to please connect with us on the 21st of December to collectively engage in a group meditation where we can send these energies into Gaia to increase her frequencies and get things going. It's going to be a wonderful experience for all those who are present there. And these meditations that I'm doing every Monday at 7 p.m., seven weeks before the event, is to prepare you to to prepare your bodies to bring in those photonic light energies because if i ask you to do it on the last day you may or may not be prepared to let go and surrender to allow the photonic light from the central sun to come through but if you do these meditations with me every week just once a week you will be allowing your body to expand you'll be allowing your heart to expand and you will become your your authentic divine self more and more as many times as you do these meditations and these photonic lights not just anchor into Gaia but they activate the dormant DNA that is stored in our physical bodies and once this dormant DNA activates we can do superhuman stuff uh, so i'm i'm so excited till you know we get to that place where we can start you know experiencing all of these qualities and abilities so uh, make sure that you are uh, listening to the meditations every week and uh, if you haven't already get your earphones in and we're going to start today's meditation really really soon so all you need to do is put your earphones in make sure that you are in a comfortable place either sitting or lying down you can lie down as well but sitting would be better because then your spine is straight and you can pull down the energies from the universe into your body all the way down into Gaia so let's get started I'm going to give you like a minute or two to settle in to get all of your um, you know stuff in order so that you can get into this peaceful deep meditation state all right so once you're ready just give me a thumbs up and we can get started all right Good. 
Cool. So we're going to start now. Just close your eyes. Get comfortable. Relax your body. Get into that deep space of relaxation. Just close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. All the way down to your belly. And exhaling through your mouth. Get comfortable now. Loosen your body up. Make sure your spine is straight. Even if you're lying down. Make sure you're comfortable. It helps if you want to do a mudra like this. It's called the chin mudra. Just um, put your hands in the chin mudra. Breathe in through your nose. All the way down to your belly. Exhaling through your mouth. Another deep breath through your nose, all the way down into your belly and exhaling through your mouth. Now as you get comfortable and start taking deep and easy breaths, remember with every inhale, you're breathing in peace and calm and exhaling all your worries and stress. With every inhale, breathing in peace and calm and exhaling all your stress and worries. That's right. Doing a very good job now. And as your body begins to get heavier and heavier into a deep state of relaxation, Notice how freeing it is to just lie there or sit there in such a peaceful, deep relaxation. Today, we are going to invite our spirit guides, our higher consciousness, the archangels, any and all ascended masters, our cosmic family, the light council, who are here for our highest and best good to come forward and help us open our heart frequencies. We are here today to increase our heart frequencies and to connect not just with Gaia but with each and every one on this planet. As a collective, we are stronger. As a collective, we can achieve anything we like. As a collective, we can spread love, light, 
and joy to each and everything we encounter. So as you take a deep breath in, just relax and give yourself permission to immerse yourself in this experience. Let this meditation remove all your stress and worries, all the limitations that are holding you back. With every breath, center yourself, imagine now a beam of light coming all the way from the central sun, a beautiful photonic light, silvery, with small specks of violet filled with unconditional love like a mother for a child. This light is now pouring all the way down from the central sun onto the top of your head where the crown chakra is suddenly everything around you is so much brighter with this beautiful light this light is like a cascading waterfall of beautiful loving energy. This energy enters your crown chakra and as you do allow this light to enter. Imagine the crown chakra as a lotus flower and when the light falls on this lotus bud, it begins to open and fully soak in the radiant light. And this crown chakra sends this photonic light all the way down to our body through our third eye filling each and every sense filling each and every cell filling each and every part of the third eye area with light and love this gentle beautiful energy is very mother-like it loves you no matter what and as it passes down through your third eye into your throat allow this light to clear all blockages that prevent you from voicing your truth from speaking your truth from being your truth this light penetrates every cell and every muscle, fiber, bone and blood in the body. As it opens up your voice to speak your truth, to speak with love and kindness, Allow the light now to enter your heart space. And as the light enters your heart space, it booms out 
multifold mixed with pink light energy at your heart center sending loving unconditional energy through your entire body releasing all the belief systems that cause you to hate yourself that cause you not to be your true authentic self that cause you to live in fear and as the light goes through the heart your heart is now releasing fears of the past and the future fears of the present allowing you to release fears of lifetimes before this and as these fears begin to leave your physical body your mind your heart and your soul take a deep breath and as you exhale let it all go with the next inhale breathe in happiness and joy and more love into your heart this light is reminding each one of us that we are made with unconditional love it reminds us if we truly love ourselves and one another we can spread love to each and everything that we encounter all there is is love love is the most powerful magic there is love is what creates universes and you my beloveds are so blessed to be made of this beautiful unconditional energy called love as this light travels now further down into the physical body allow it to sit in the stomach area allowing everything we are unable to digest out of our system all the lies that we have been told all the programming we have received it's now time to let it all go we've been holding on to it for too long now right in the stomach area where we are unable to digest the untruths where we are unable to be our true authentic self because we are programmed to be a certain way for many years now but now that time is over we no longer have to be we no longer have to follow we no longer have to seek out old protocols we are now free to let go of everything limiting us from being our true authentic selves we are light beings made with pure and conditional love and it is now in this time and in this age we are beginning to realize who we really are 
The physical body is just for the experience of life on earth. We no longer need to pretend that we are not light. We no longer need to pretend that we are not love. We no longer need to pretend that we are divine. As the light goes through every cell in your stomach area into all the internal organs, every cell, every fiber, every muscle, bone and blood. Allow it to release all the old programming, letting it all out, detoxing our physical and energy bodies. As we now allow the light to move even further down to the root chakra, allow the right, allow the light to release all those relationships that do not serve us anymore all those relationships that have no respect, no love, no peace and no harmony. Allow the light to release all the creations from the past that did not serve you in your best interests. Allow the light to permeate all the cells, the organs, the fibers, the muscles, the bones and the blood of your lower body. as it releases old friendships, relationships and identity of self, letting it all go now, it is no longer required, doesn't serve your best and highest interest. Allow this beautiful photonic light from the central sun to push all of these negative emotions through your legs all the way down to your feet out of your feet and into the earth these are all excess energies that you no longer require And as energy is neither positive nor negative, Gaia receives these energies to use for her best and highest interest. Allow these energies to be released from your body and into Gaia. Bring your awareness to your heart area and sense the feeling of freedom and excitement, joy and love in your heart. If you may find it difficult, beloveds, then bring to your mind a happy, joyous memory. A memory that would cause you joy and excitement. And let it fill your heart. 
Allow this feeling to multiply and expand. Allow this feeling of love and joy to expand and turn into bliss. Open your hearts to the universe, to the central sun. She is sending her loving energies to you, my beloved. Receive her light and experience eternal joy. And as this light enters you, filling your heart and your physical body and expanding out into your energy fields. Feel the sense of lightness, of relief, of release, of finally being able to realize your true authentic self. Allow these energies now to act as a bridge from the central sun going all the way through you into Gaia herself. Imagine this beautiful photonic light of pure loving energy filling you up and as you overflow with love and gratitude for the earth that you live on, for the earth that feeds you and clothes you and takes care of you. Let these energies overflow into a loving embrace, sending it to Gaia all the way down to the crystal core where she resides sending her these beautiful photonic light energies with our love and gratitude attached. And as we send her these loving energies, visualize the center of the earth with this beautiful white light expanding out into every small nook and cranny of Gaia. Feel this loving energy expanding into all the layers of Earth, permeating every living creature, every living soul, every plant, every tree, is now feeling this beautiful energy of joy, love and peace. And as the earth receives these beautiful energies, Gaia's heart fills with happiness and joy and she begins to increase her frequencies. And as her frequencies begin to increase, you can feel the vibrations of her frequencies rising in your physical body. Just allow the frequencies into your physical body and as your body now begins to vibrate with higher frequencies of love and peace 
and with the photonic light already activating your dormant DNA your heart expands even further sending out pulses of beautiful energy throughout the universe being thankful and grateful for who you are and for who you are going to be Let's just sit with our eyes closed for a minute. Feeling the energy of love and light wash all over us. Feeling the energy of freedom of truly spreading our wings. and flying to the heavens before we close let's give gratitude and thanks to each and every one who's participated in this meditation our cosmic families archangels ascended masters higher consciousness spirit guides and all the light council beings who were available today to transmit these beautiful messages to us through me i am so grateful and honored to be part of this journey along with you and i have no doubt in my heart or mind that we are going to see a beautiful and wonderful age of the aquarius wow <laughs> That has been quite a transmission. I could see the entire light light up the earth from the core transmitting into every plant and being on earth and then these pulses of love going all the way out into the universe. It was simply beautiful. I thank each and every one of you who participated today and for everyone else who's going to be watching this uh, meditation soon.